there was a little girl spending the night with her grandparents, and they let her stay up really late. When she finally got to bed, she was wondering how late did she stay up? They had this old grandfather clock, but it was broken. The little girl didn't know it. She heard it begin to chime on the hour, and she thought, oh, how late did I stay up? She began to count. One, two, three, it chimed 10, 11, 12, 13, 13? She jumped out of bed, and she ran into her grandparents' room and said, Grandma, Grandpa, wake up, wake up. It's 13 o'clock. It's later than it's ever been. <laughs> well, prophetically, I believe it's later than it's ever been. And as we're working through the Gospel of Matthew today, we're in chapter 24, and, and the disciples ask Jesus, what will be the signs of your coming and the end of the age? That's what they ask in verse 3. Tell us, what will be the sign of your coming? You did know Jesus is coming again. I'm just going to read some verses. And as I read them, I want you to think about what you also read in the news and see if the two things don't match up. I believe it's later than it's ever been. Uh, so they asked the question, what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Uh, Jesus said, watch out that no one deceives you. Verse five, many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah to deceive many. There is more false teaching out there than there ever has been before. And Jesus said it would happen. In verse six, he said, you will hear of wars and rumors of war. You turn on the TV and you will hear about war, don't you? Uh, in fact, there was a recent study that concluded there are uh, more wars lasting longer and more violent worldwide at any time since the Cold War. You turn on the news and you'll hear about a Russian-Ukrainian conflict or about Israel and uh, Hamas and, and the, the war taking place in Gaza or Iran-funded terrorists surrounding Israel. Even this week, uh, President Biden had a meeting with the dictator of China, Xi Jinping, and in that meeting, the Chinese dictator said the greatest threat to peace is Taiwan. America supports Taiwan China says, no, 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 we're going to reunify and take Taiwan back. On any given day, you hear about wars and rumors of war, and Jesus said it would happen. Nation would rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Verse 7, there will be famines in various places. The, the United Nations says 850 million people go to bed hungry every night. 850 million. Uh, then the scripture says there will be earthquakes. Uh, right now in Iceland, a volcano is about to erupt. They're evacuating cities. They've had over 900 earthquakes. Uh, in the last 100 years, the U.S. Geological Survey uh, tells us that the frequency and intensity of earthquakes ha has almost doubled. Uh, Jesus says, uh, the, the, beware because of the increase of wickedness and the love of many will grow cold. The increase of wickedness. We have trouble watching TV anymore because of the content. I would say you would agree that there's been a great increase in wickedness. The love of people has grown cold. And just as a little parallel, I'll read a little passage in 2 Timothy. Tell me if this sounds like the days in which we live. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 says, In the last days there will be terrible times. People will be lovers of themselves, yes, lovers of money, mm-hmm, Boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy. All of that's happening. They will be without love, <clears throat> unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. All of these things in my Bible, if I were to put next to the newspaper, Boy, so many things are happening that Jesus said one day would happen. And so I guess my only question to you is, if Jesus Christ is coming again suddenly, are you ready? Are you prepared? Because he could come at any moment. The Bible tells us it'll be suddenly, maybe before this devotion is over. 
the trumpet will blow and Jesus will come. Before I finish the next sentence, 